Hi guys, it's Ona. Today is November 12th, Tuesday, full moon day. I hope your full moon is good. We'll talk a little bit about that at the end. I'm going to do a um, mental health status reading on Stephen Miller. I'm using the Deviant Moon deck for a couple of reasons. The buildings in the background are all um, either abandoned or asylums. That is the way the deck was designed. So this will be interesting. Also, uh, as a disclaimer, I want you to know this is for entertainment purposes only. And my opinion is only based on the mental health status examination outline. Okay? So the first thing I, I noticed or saw with Steve Miller when I um, kind of reviewed and did a little research on him, I don't really know much about him was that his left eye droops a little bit more than the right eye, okay? Like that. This is exaggerated, but you'll notice it next time you look at him. So this one's a little blocked. I watched the interview that he did with Chris Wallace, and he did a lot of that eye blocking. That's what it's called, eye blocking, with his left eye when he... And it actually kind of twitched when he was talking to him. Interesting that it's the left side. So anything that's coming in there from the left or is against his opinion, he's blocking. He doesn't want to see it. He doesn't want to hear it. Okay. Um, what else? He reminds me of that... Uh, Horror genre we used to watch when we were kids, Creature Features. I heard the soundtrack from Creature Features. <laughs> He's a scary little thing, huh? All right, little man, what's going on? What's going on here? Stephen Miller. First card we're going to pull is Appearance. What does he look like? Okay, we get the magician. So that's what he looks like. He's always got his hands in somebody's business. Fidgety. Okay. Maybe somebody who is kind of fidgety the way he looks. He does look fidgety, doesn't he? This is going to be really good. Motor coordination. <laughs> That's great. So motor coordination here is really propelled by um, an insect here. So maybe he's got his, maybe he's got some weak ankles. Okay, I could see weak ankles. Hands up in the air. Speech. And for speech, we get Queen of Cups, so he thinks he's all that, or he thinks he holds the chalice of knowledge here. That's cannoli. She sneezes. So I'd say speech is reserved, maybe. Some reserved speech. He's not saying as much as he wants to. Okay. Affect, or how he's feeling. Ooh. Ooh. He is. That is the eight of, uh, oh no, that's seven. Seven of wands, okay? So right now he's feeling trapped, constricted. In a little bit of trouble there. Okay. Thought process, logic versus illogic. We get the tower. So his thought process is destructive. Okay, he just wants to destroy everything. This is this is a this is a sick deeply deeply disturbed individual. Ooh, perception of reality. Let's see what comes up. His perception of reality here is also being blocked. He isn't letting, he is so stubborn, he's not letting anything in that doesn't 
completely aligned with everything he believes. He won't let anyone into his space that doesn't have the same ideals, values, which is kind of what the whole uh, drooping eye thing is. If it's hanging down like that, he's not, he's blocking. Wow. Intellect. This would be interesting. Oh, okay. It's getting sucked away. So, intellect, we get eight of swords. Okay. And that would be just um, being trapped. So as far as being smart, it looks like his emotions really are what drives him. It doesn't matter how bright you are. He's completely driven by his emotions, and his emotions appear to be quite extreme. Very extreme. Insight or what motivates you. The perception of, the idea that this is everything's going to be fine, or you're, or you're going to be happy. So, what motivates you is your family, really? Somehow I don't see that. What motivates you is a lot of. A lot of cups of moonshine, maybe. Interesting. Let's do a little spread on him. I'm going to use the Grand Natalia deck and see what's going on. So, outcome. I just cracked open to that. Okay. So, there's a deviant calculating behavior here. Yeah, I just cracked the deck in half and that's what I got. Ooh. I don't want to say, you know, I don't want to say anything. But you could read it in my eyes, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what's happening with you. I did see, um, and this is just overall general, what is happening in the whole White House and everything right now is a lot of chaos. I see people packing. Um putting stuff in boxes. I see people looting, like priceless antiques. Let's do a little read on Stephen Miller and see what's gonna what's gonna come of this. Um, little deviant behavior here. Okay. All right, just a simple Celtic cross. The first card we get is ideas. Interesting that it's all the cups again. So he's full of ideas. He's trying to figure out what to do. See the writing on the wall? Everybody else does. Can't you? Can't you, buddy? Come on. Crossing that, getting ready to bolt, travel, moving, leaving, going to another place. Okay, so it could be that his ideas are, are, are expanding into another scheme. Such a mean, mean little thing, isn't he? Just a mean thing. Gosh. Above that, we have soldier or military, so that's above the reading. He's being watched. He's being monitored. Somebody's going to come in and get you, buddy. Okay, that's also news. Below that, we have a court case. So there's some news coming in about a court case, and there is travel plans. In the past, we have a fame card. Can you even see this? It's so bright in here. That's the past. So he's famous for something, or he thinks he is, or wants to be. Okay? As a result of that, solitude. 
yeah, you isolated your, your own self. Okay. And the environment, I actually get rejoicing. There's something in the environment. This could be that he's, um, apparently he's getting married. <sighs> Don't want to make me go there. Don't make me go there. Okay. So we get rejoicing. Outside influences. Strength. So he's got some strength. Some people backing him up. I don't think so. We'll see. That's an outside influence. Hopes and fears. I have madness, isolation, walking away. That's a fear. Going crazy. You know, I don't want to say that word. That's not right. But losing control cognitively. Okay. And outcome. Outcome is to make steeds, so he's forging ahead. Also, there are six um, swords in here, so that is moving on. That would that would uh, connect to the travel card. And we're going to do another row of that because when they match up, it tells a bigger story. So we've got environment. Happy about secrets. We have rejoicing about secrets. He's happy about something coming out. Could he possibly be just happy that this is almost over? Outside influences, enterprises. So he's got something in the works. Okay. Got a little sneaky plan. He's gone. He's out. Hopes and fears. Fear, madness. Okay. Hope. Progress. It's also upside down. Of tenacity. So he's going to need some help. He needs some help. And outcome. Oh, God. Guys, I don't want, you know what? This is what. How come we get death? So death with whatever he's forging ahead to do is going to be stopped. It's over. Game over. Okay. And that, you know, let's just say death is just the ending of something. Um, it's just a blank slate. Okay. There you go. Thank you, spirit. It's a blank slate. Okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we've got arbitration and excess. So he's constantly, constantly talking about, he really talks way too much than, way more than he should. He should keep his mouth shut. He's constantly trying to spin the wheel. Always spinning the wheel. Always trying to prove he's right. Uh, he is very closed off. There is some deviant behavior there. Um, very, very stubborn. Sees the writing on the wall. Making travel plans. And he's out. He's done. Okay. Wow. So you got the whole thing about eye blocking when people squint or shut their eyes. Try to notice this when you see people. If they talk to you and they answer you and close their eyes, they don't want to hear what they're listening to. Okay? So he does a lot of that, a lot of that squinting. Unless he's unless there's some kind of pupil dilation because of medication, um, he's blocking you, okay? Or they're blocking you. Uh, full moon today. Crazy. Full moon in Taurus. So Taurus rules the neck area. So protect your neck. Use your words carefully and kindly, please. Um, 
it's 10 degrees in Chicago, so you got to wear a scarf. Coughing, clearing your throat, little neck pain, little neck strain. Balance yourselves. It's a good full moon. It really is. Um, I want to thank everybody in this community that has been so incredibly generous to give me a shout out. Um, you guys are amazing. And everybody kind of joining in together and unraveling this, this crazy, crazy time is helpful. And I hope you guys get some good laughs out of it. I'll go get cannoli because she's, uh, she'll help you heal, okay? Let me pause this for a sec. Okay, this is Miss Cannoli. She's the Reiki 2 level practitioner. So she's gonna give you some healing energy and uh, you guys have a great day and get ready for tomorrow. I'm gonna go out and get some potato chips, get a big bag ready so we can do this, okay? Thank you so much. Peace. Thank you.